there of just flying through those gaps, just throwing that body at people. He was very, very physical. So Lorcan Ryans gets us underway, and SWAC football is underway in the Turkey Day Classic. And here comes Alabama State on the return. That is Robert McMinn, and Robert McMinn is gone. The opening kickoff of the game, and Robert McMinn takes it all the way to the house. They call him Flash, and you saw exactly why right there. Got one good block, and then the rest. I don't know what is. Just watch it from this angle. It'll be perfect. Look at that. Right there, it's all open. He makes the one cut of the kicker. He ain't going to touch him. And then he's just striding. He doesn't even have to put on the superchargers there. He is just gliding into the end zone for the touchdown. That is a walk-on. And that's a tough road to go. And he did, and he will be on scholarship this spring. And this time he gives it to Moba. Tries to turn the corner, but Colton Adams is in the backfield. Bubba Adams has 110 now after that one. And that was in 10 games. So he's just been fantastic. So third and five for the Golden Tigers pass is complete. That's a first down. And they will move the sticks the first time they get the ball on the offensive end. That yep. passed him a lot all over the field. Played his high school ball in Houston. And another give to Mulba. Mulba breaks the tackle straight up the middle. It's a big gain. And again, he's dragged down from behind by Adrian Maddox. But another strong time. He has five touchdowns and averages almost five yards a carry. So here goes Johnny right here, and he's going to pick up more than his carry. And he has an angry run. Did you see that finish by Johnny Morris? Get out of my way. Golden Tigers are averaging 25 points a game. High snap. Good job. Pass is complete. That play, just the timing of it was just off. It was completely off. I don't know if that was a full catch there. Second and two now. They go to the run. Johnny bounced off the line of scrimmage, and he's going to turn it up, and he's not going to get to the sticks. A good defensive recovery by the Hornets from Alabama on their opening drive of the game. So Tuskegee will throw it. Bryson Williams over the middle, and he's high with the throw. It goes down as an incomplete pass, and the receiver thought he might have been in the game, the freshman. He will take some at quarterback. But for now, it is Stewart, and he's going to start it off with the pass. He's under pressure, and he could not get it off. So a big sack to open the offensive series for Alabama State by Tuskegee. He has eight touchdowns, but unfortunately, five interceptions. So running the game is what Coach Eddie Robb wants to do. He feels like his team is playing best when they are running the football. That is Jawan Howell on the carry there. He's the leading rusher on the team. Student transfer from North Alabama is actually in his sixth year of football thanks to COVID. This time Stewart goes down the field and nobody home there. It's going to go down as an incomplete pass. Be good behind the running attack. Yeah, look for some play action here early. On. So Williams turns and he hands straight ahead and again it's another big run in there. And there's a good carry again by number 23 yards of carry. And he's actually improved on that early in the ballgame. Yeah, 6.6 .6 right now. So here's Williams on the throw, completes the pass to the outside, and is going to be pushed out of bounds. It's number 85, Rashid Sager. That would be awesome for him. What, what, a, what a great, great special uh, privilege for the young man. So second down now, pass near the sideline. There's going to be an incompleted pass. Good coverage over the old helmets. So Tuskegee on third down, we'll throw it. Pressure on the quarterback, and they got him. Big pressure there by Traquan Thomas. Came from the right side, looked like he was shot. Of Top weapons on the sidelines in a, in a hat. That doesn't work. So they go to the running game, do the Hornets, and it's going to be a nice gain on first down as he got pretty close to five yards on that carry. Keyshawn Johnson. The, the line of scrimmage for him. Put a man in motion on second down. Pass inside is complete. That's going to be a first down for the Hornets. Pass complete on the play. Alabama State from Troy. So now they're mixing in the pass and the run is Alabama State, and they go back to the running game again. Again with big yardage inside. And you can see a lot of those big offensive linemen continuing, continuing to push the pile. Puts McMinn in motion, and he gives it to McMinn around the left side. He has the football, but it's out of bounds after he picked up the first down. So the jet sweep goes to Robert McMinn. He was actually named Newcomer of the Week in the SWAC for this week, and this time Stewart's going to keep it. 
Can't get around the corner, though. Does a good job to make something out of it right at the end as he slides. Stewart this time under center. He's going to roll to his right. Passes underneath. Has a man wide open. And he's going to take it in for the touchdown. That is number 40, Dylan Creech, the big fullback who came into the ball game, snuck out of the backfield. Like a fullback. Just watch him. It's not pretty. It's not like a smooth. It's just kind of, ah. <laughs> he just dives in like a. But they got to stick to their run game and you know move down the field. So they start off with a run, and it's a nice run. It's going to pick up about four yards on that carry. And once that offensive line is creating good seams there. And they go back to the run on second time. Morris bounces it to the outside, trying to turn the corner. Almost did. Couldn't quite get there. It's going to be a short game by Johnny Munn for the Golden Tigers. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that offensive line is doing a great job. Just watch here, and then watch Morris just finish, right? Right there, great job opening up that seam, and then he just finishes, just keeps pounding. Watch those legs just keep churning, keep churning all the way through. Colton Adams caught him from behind, but that run is good for 13 yards by Johnny Morris, and I talked about them celebrating Thanksgiving. You mentioned how well that offensive line is doing right now, and, and Coach told me one of the things Aaron James said, you know, our linemen kind of like the biggest eaters on this team. He went on to talk about that, and then they went to talk about one of his guys. We'll get to that in a minute. A little option play by Williams. It's going to be a short gain inside. He goes, you know, everybody gets together. We kind of blow off some steam a little bit. Big game coming up, and he said, Sean Stitton, number 65, the offensive tackle ball baseball, and he said, I just feel a sense of peace keeping her with me here on the sideline. Oh, that's incredible right there. So Tuskegee with a beautiful pass down the sideline, just a tad too long, almost a big play for the Golden Tigers. So Williams will throw it on third down. Cranks it out, and he just missed him. He had a guy who was open. He felt like he was interfered with, but that pass looked like they were on the road. The six-foot, 185-pound senior will kick it away. High kick. McMinn feels around the 15-yard line. He's a tough guy in the open field. McMinn has some room on the outside. One man to beat is the kicker. Now it's a foot race, and he finally he's shoved out of bounds near the 25-yard line. But what a weapon. Vision right here, right? It's The blocking right there is fantastic. And he sees a little bit to the right, and then he's like, ah, oh, I can get on the outside. And once he gets to the outside, he's like, I ain't worried about the punter. <laughs> he takes it up and then gets, gets pushed out. But on Kimber on the stop. And so now first and 10 for the Hornets. And they go back to their running attack. And again, it's a big run on first down to set up a third, a second and short on the day. And this is what Coach Eddie Robb likes to do. He likes to keep the ball on the ground. So Stewart again goes straight ahead. Nothing fancy here. Just give it to the running back and go straight ahead and let him do references. I've got a lot. During this ball game. <laughs> Come back, and it's more running again to Harris. Harris trying to get away, still on his feet. He was hit in the backfield, but actually turned that into a one, maybe two-yard pickup. I want every time. It's mortal combat when you talk about in the trenches. This pass from Williams to the end zone is too strong. He had a receiver out there. That was uh, number 15. That penalty will make it second and 20. And just a little flare pass out to the running back, and he's going to step out of bounds. But it's a good game to pick up some of that penalty yardage. That has the speed to turn the corner. So now, after the penalty, make it third and ten. Pass inside. Complete. No, incomplete. Wow, it looked like it, he caught it. As he gets set, he's been the kicker for most of the year. So they've had, they have a lot of confidence in him, and he has the bigger leg. And the kick is on the way. And it sails right, so it's going to be wide right, and it's no good. So Jaden John on his attempt. So first and 10 for Tuskegee. He will throw it inside, completes it, but Bubba Adams is right there to take him down immediately. But they're going to say it's good for five yards, and that's going to make it second and five. And they go back to the running game. They've had a lot of success with the running game, and once again, they pick up about four inside. Now for the Golden Tigers as they get set. Turn, and they give to Johnny Mars, and Mars is caught and dropped in the backfield. What a big play by the Hornets. 
for Tuskegee because Zena Malba went to the sideline with an injury. And here comes Morris again, breaking a tackle. And Morris is going to pick up a first down for the Golden Tide. Eight to go here in the quarter. And Williams looking to throw it. Floats it down the sideline. Has a man. It's a completed pass. And a great catch over there by number five here from the Golden Tigers. They're in the red zone, knocking on the door, and they go to Morris. Morris dancing around. Came through that great job by Morris to pick up about six yards. And that'll put him in. Williams turns and gives to Morris again, and he's tripped up in the backfield. A big defensive play by Ogletree. Down territory for Tuskegee. It's only a 13-0 game. Williams the pass. And is caught near the 10-yard line. We'll see where they put it down. A good catch by Antonio. Unofficially, it's a 27-yard attempt. Coming up by Lorcan Ryans. His kick is a line drive, but it splits the uprights. And the Golden Tigers are on the board. Aaron James, yard field goal. So here come the Harnets on offense. And ball is loose, and it's a dive for the football. And the Golden Tigers say they have it. And the officials say they have it. So the first turnover of the game is a huge turnover. We got that ball. He never really had that ball. Ball bounces around a little bit. Watch him. The ball hits him in the chest. Actually, the hip, lower hip. And it just falls out. I don't think he ever thought it was going to be given to him. Look, he was... After the turnover on the fumble by... by the Hornets. And here comes, they go right back to Johnny Morris, who goes around the right side this time. He's going to pick up nice yardage on first down. So Bryson Willie Williams has gone all the way at quarterback. Goes back to Morris again. But there's tough going inside this time. That Alabama. So they put Meeks in motion. Williams sprinting out to his left, throws downfield, and he doesn't give him a chance, really. That ball was thrown out of bounds. Drive alive and put some points on the board. Williams will pass it underneath, and he just off the fingertips of his intended receiver there. While that hurts, he had a big guy cross and may have led him a little too much. Hands on it, but really had no chance to pull that in. So here come the Hornets, and they go to the run, and what a big play in the backfield. Nice stop right there as they tried to get something going in the back. So second 11, call it a loss of one. They gave him his forward progress on the play. This time they come back inside, and boy, he almost broke that one. It was almost a big run as he went back to Bryant again. Have a little bit different characteristic of how they run the ball. So defensively, it makes it tough. So third and eight now for the Hornets. Stewart backpedaling has his man. It's completed for a first down. And a big first down it is. Number 13, Tyree Saunders and two touchdowns. So although he's been quiet today, what a huge game he had last week. First down, Stewart. Now he's going to have to run it. Pulls it down, throws downfield, has his receiver. And a great defensive play over there. And it was almost intercepted after the tip. Jessment to that position. So on first down, second down, excuse me, he'll pass it again, and it's complete. Nice catch inside. Ace first and 10 for the Hornets. Ball resting at the 27. Stewart scrambles again out of the pocket. Going to throw off the run, and it's almost picked off. Almost caught in the end zone by Will Sparks. But then the defensive back had a receiver just come down on a slant hard. Stewart fakes to the running back, goes deep for the end zone. There's contact. It's going to be pass interference on the play, and the DB cannot believe it. But it's the golden Alabama State trying to pad their lead before the break. Stewart fires a strike. Ball, no, he didn't. Pumped it, and now it's caught. Touchdown. Wow. What a play in the end zone. He pumped the pass, threw the pass. It was also Watch it come steaming out. Right there, all the defenders have to move and then loads up again, cranks it down there. There's tons of traffic. Almost intercepted, but instead it's a touchdown. Yeah, actually tipped up by the deep. So the Golden Tigers will take over on offense here and they go to their running game. Trying to rip off something big. 
before the end of the first half. Three to Zena Malba. Morris has gotten a lot of looks here in the second quarter. So once again, they run it straight ahead. A flag goes down. That would have taken us to the half, but multiple flags were thrown on the play, so we'll have to see what Jarvis Walker and company do that. Hey, you never know. Five seconds to go here in the first half. Bryson Williams trying to uncork one. Going to let it go deep for the end zone, and he did not give his guy a chance. Kind of threw that one out of bounds, and that will take us to the end. They're not trying to speed play as it is. So the Golden Tigers will go on offense first to start the second half. They go back to the run, and that's going to be a three-yard gain inside. So second down, they go back to the running game. Great block at the point of impact there, and it's going to be a nice run by Zena Malba. Excuse me, check that. We're back to arms as we start the second half. They trail 20-3 to in the ball game. And they go back to that running game, but Bubba Adams is right there to meet Morris in the hole. Big tackle. I mean, that's a form tackle. That's the kind of tackle by Morris on the carry. He's going to hand it in. Tough yardage this time and nowhere to go for Johnny Morris. He's cracked down hard right there. The way a quarterback, of course, we expected to see Christopher Roberson at some point. Williams, the lefty, will pass. It got hit as he released. It's going to be intercepted. And it is intercepted. And here come the Hornets on the return. Boy, he got hit right as he released that. Cale Jackson Jr. on the INT for the Hornets in the all-black uniforms. So the possession remains. And then they go through the running game and some room inside for Jawan Howell still on his feet as he spins. And he gets out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. But a big run by Jawan Howell. Who starts fresh, and that will, that's what we're seeing right now. Some fresh legs from Howe. Takes the handoff again and goes forward for about three yards. As they're inside the red zone, but he dove down to about the 13-yard line. Second and eight with the ball resting on the 13-yard line. And he goes to the jet sweep again. Trying to get loose is McMahon, and he dives to the five-yard line. That's Robert McMahon, who's done a whale of a third and one. As Dylan Creech, the big fullback, checks in. They give it to Howell. Howell's going to have the first down, and he takes it all the way down to the two-yard line. Uh, before that run. And goal for the Hornets. Give us to Howe. Goes off tackle. Dives for the end zone. He is very close. And it's a touchdown for the Hornets. The one official I was watching that was closest yeah. to the play did nothing. <laughs> 220 pounder. Yeah, and I think it's the last ditch effort right here. He's just going to start backing his way in, stretches out before he. First and 10 from the 25, and they go back to the running game. Johnny Morris is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard on that play, but he hit the nail on it. And, and for Tuskegee there to take advantage of it and hit a quick strike. So they're going to roll out. Williams to his right completes his pass. And his receiver stepped out of bounds. That's number 85, Rashad Sager. And I think he won this game. He's only averaging 86 passing yards per game. There's a run by Morris, and he picks up the first down for the Golden Titans. Day for some time to come. First and 10 for Tuskegee. Williams has to keep it this time, and he gets down quickly after he picked up about three yards, maybe four. Does a good job of slider. Has been Antonio Meeks. Rashad Sager has caught a couple of them, but most everything's gone to Meeks, and they go back to the running game again, and that's what Morris can do. He can make you miss, and he made two people miss, and he's finally shoved out of bounds by Demarcus Cunningham. Job done with 5.24 to go here in the third quarter. Tuskegee's going to throw it this time. Flag goes down. Receiver still on his feet, caught, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds. That is number 15, Antonio Meeks again. But the flag in a proper uh, stance, they're in good shape. Once they get this way, it's hard. They're going to pass it again to the wide receiver. Still on his feet, slips the tackler. And boy, he really turned that into a nice, nice gain. And look at the offensive line, wow. getting a lot of help from his big buddies to stretch that out into a big play. 
They go back to the running game, and boy, nothing but black jerseys converge on number 27, Johnny Morris. And he just didn't have a chance to, if they do not convert here on third down. Pressure on the blitz, but he got the pass off to the running back, and Morris is shoved out of bounds. He will be short by a couple of yards. Bryson Williams getting his backfield set. Now he's going to throw. The lefty fires a strike and is picked off by the Hornets. Alabama State with another turnover in this game. Chauncey Moore, number five, with the intercepted pass and a nice return. We're going to pause for a timeout after that big interception return. The way the PA address announcer made the call in the stadium there. And now a little razzle-dazzle here. Wide receiver pass. And it's going to be, whoa, almost caught for a second there. It looked like he was going to throw it out of bounds, but it was make the big strike. So Alabama State now on offense going back to their running game, which has been very good here today. Marcus Harris on the carry that time. That went through downtown Montgomery. Of course, that's always a big hit. Put a man in motion this time. Stewart looking to throw again. Off his back foot, completes it to Tyree Saunders, and he has a first down for the Hornets. So he's getting over 1,500 yards for the season passing. Goes back to Harris, who's showing some of his power right there at the end of that run. Marcus Harris from Jackson, Mississippi, winds down. He puts Scott in motion, and he comes back to excuse me to Harris again. And Harris not going to pick up much that time. A good job by the Tuskegee front. 145 yards rushing for Tuskegee. They're trying to stop this run now. Oh wow, that's Harris. He's cracked down. He's going to be very close. It looked like an easy first down for a minute, and then he just chopped down like offside. Defense, yeah. number three. Tails and the neutral zone at the time of the snap. Five yard penalty, first down. Well, that do the Hornets. Stewart's going to pass it as he rolls to his left, looking in the end zone. Now he can't get it off under pressure. Stewart still alive, fires into the end zone, and he has an open receiver, and it's a touchdown for the Hornets. It's Asa Gregg, number 85. Great decisions, right? He's heading outside. And again, he's a left, he's a right-hander trying to roll to his left, so that's always tough. And then he comes back to his right, just collects himself, keeps his head up, back to ski up. Yeah, it backed up the uh, Golden Tigers. They'll go back deep into their own territory, and they come back to Johnny Morris, who's trying to get outside, and he can't make it because of a great play by Chauncey Moore. Whew. So the Golden Tigers hand it off again, and it's going to be a loss of about two more in the backfield. Along with Bryson Williams. And Bryson gives it straight ahead again, and you can see the Hornets just shooting the gap there, making play after play, punt the football away. And this is where Robert McMinn could be really dangerous if he's back there. Let's see, the kick is going to be short off the side of the foot. Well, I don't know if that was blocked or not. It may have been blocked by the Hornets. And, we, you know, we were talking during one of the breaks how the Hornets have excelled at blocking kicks. And now they're going to give the ball the field. to the Golden He's Tigers. The ball was touched more than three yards down the field by the defense. Then recovered by the kicking team. Therefore, the ball will be first, first and ten at the spot of recovery to Skiggy. So after the block or after the bad punt, whichever one, whether it was caught or not, they said one of the defensive guys from Alabama State touched the ball. And after he touched the ball, Tuskegee recovered it, allowing them to maintain the yard line. Another first down for the Golden Tigers. Pressure on Williams this time. Fires a strike. He was trying to hit his receiver crossing right over the middle. It was Meeks backtracking, and he was in great position when that ball was thrown. So on second down, Golden Tigers again. Williams scrambles out of the pocket. Track down from behind. We have eight. And 
Caleb Williams is going to throw. If he can, he had Bubba in his face, and that's going to be an incomplete pass as he threw it in a crowd. But Colton Adams, Bubba Adams was right back there in his face. That stuff, one of those guys, Jacob Marshall, he and his wife were expecting soon. He's on camera one today. So congratulations, Jacob, as we pick up the Hornets with the football and they complete a pass. That, that's a, a big deal for coaching staff. Congratulations. That pass was on first down, so now we have second down coming up, and Howell is caught. Maybe he got a yard on the play, but a good stop. Hit in Alabama State came in today with a six and four overall record. Tuskegee was seven and three as they try to pass it on third down. But Stewart is going to have to run. He keeps, and he is forced out of bounds. Quarterback keeper on the play. Good pressure <laughs> on the scramble by Stewart as he picks up the first down. Stewart this time with a little roll to his right. Cranks it up, has an open receiver. That is Will Sparks, and he has another first down for the Hornets. Love that a philosophy. they got to know each other. There's probably plenty of people that know each other on both sides. They Love playing against each other. Recruit the same players. Yep. And that's a run up the middle by Harris. Hand off on the play by the Hornets. Changing the game and, and not making any really big mistakes. So Stewart under pressure and he's taken down. Back Set there in the, the pocket play. and they go to the blitz. And it's number 49. That's Noah Holton. He's going to finish off with uh, seven wins. They're going to end up being seven and four when this is all said and done. Stewart again under pressure, and a flag goes down as he scrambles out of the pocket. Still on his feet, Stewart does a good job of picking up the real estate, but this one was thrown in the direction of where they usually call holding. It's our last game of the year, you know, and they want to be on the field, and they want to play, and they want to contribute. So mm -hmm. third and 25 here, pass is complete, and caught a good catch by Tyree Saunders as yard. So just enough to get the first down and keep the clock moving and keep the football so they go to Harris straight ahead and not much going on for Harris right there number 98 Terrence Mays on second and seven and Stewart looking to throw it again down has a man open completes the pass to Will Sparks and he's going to be pushed out of bounds so another first down welcome back everyone we're going to go right to work Alabama State with the football and they go back to the run, just straight ahead. And they're going to see a lot of that right now after the penalty was assessed against the Hornet. No eye-popping numbers, but again, leading your team to victory and keeping it balanced, that's great. So he comes back, fakes the pitch, gives back inside to Jawan Howell. And Howell has shown that aggressiveness all day. He has another first down. He's just a tough guy to bring down, tough guy to tackle. So our first down and 10 now for Alabama State. We're down to 234. Ball is loose. And for the second time today, our Gatorade player of the game, Damon Stewart, lost the handle of that football. But this is Aaron James for Tuskegee. Nice spin move by Howell. Still on his feet, man. He wants to get another Ooh. touchdown as he breaks tackles. And when you look at it, two, two. And, and I think that's just huge for, for both, both programs. Third down. And the handoff on the jet sweep is around the outside and into the end zone for the touchdown to T. Lee, who came around on that jet sweep, took the handoff, and then took it in for the touchdown for Alabama. I think we got our camera guy on that. Yeah, I mean, look at that, though. I mean, it was great blocking down the field, and again, shows his speed. To see where the flow is and to jump right into that mm -hmm. as far as his play calling is, is concerned. So they go back to the run. Leverett on the carry. Desmond Leverett getting his shot in the ball game. Zero, and that is the end of the ball game. Jorge, let me get you to put a bow on this one and kind of wrap things up for us here. Well, I just think fantastic job by Alabama State closing out the, the, the season so strong with a win like this. Very complete. Uh, congratulations to the